keeping up with our motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students! Hello children and welcome to an interesting session of general knowledge that is smart kids GK for standard 3. Now during this lockdown period you must be thinking about how can I sharpen my, my brain with no going to school and no teachers around. Well well here's the answer. You need a GK workout. Yes a general knowledge workout. With this, you will learn something new and enriching. You will get to challenge your mind and sharpen your cognitive skills. You can improve your concentration, focus and memory. So let's get started and see what we have in store today. Oh, here's Harry Potter, the young wizard who is a student of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. But today, we aren't going to learn about Harry Potter, but about the British author of this series of fantasy novels, J.K. Rowling. As a child, she wrote fantasy stories for her younger sister. The plot of Harry Potter series took shape in her mind during a train journey from Manchester to London. While writing the first book of Harry Potter series, she lived in poverty and received monetary help from the government. She lost her mother too during that time. She has written several other books after the Harry Potter series and earned awards for her writing. The success of her writing career helps Rowling to make good money from which she supports charitable organizations. In 2005, she started her own charitable organization called Lumus. Let us see which stories compiled into the Harry Potter series. Yes, and we have the first one, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and last, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. The life of J.K. Rowling inspires us to face tough challenges with courage. It is truly said, success favors the brave. Well, let's see what we have next. Aha! We are going to learn about turtles. First of all, let us see. A turtle, tortoise or a turpin are hard-shelled egg-laying animals and are put under a common umbrella term, turtles. The name of a particular turtle depends on where it lives. Yes, first of all, we learn about turtles. Turtles are aquatic or semi-aquatic creatures. They spend considerable time in water or near water. They spend their life underwater and come out on land only to lay eggs. They have webbed feet which are also known as flippers. They have flat shells which help them to dive or swim in water. They feed on plants, insects or small fish. Yes. Next we have a tortoise. Tortoise have more rounded and domed shell. Their feet are not webbed but stubby which help them to crawl and move. They go to water body to drink water or to bathe in it. They spend their time on land feeding on shrubs and grass. Turpins. Turpins have flat shells like a turtle and clawed feet. They live near fresh or slightly salty water bodies. However, nowadays, turpins largely refer to turpins found in swampy coastal areas of North America. This is a picture of a diamond backed turpin that is found in North America. Can you see the intricate design on the shell? Isn't it beautiful? 
Thank you children for watching. We'll meet again in one more interesting session. Till then, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.